Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Today we're going to compare two flagship phones of two of the most popular brand, Samsung and Pixel. Samsung S21 is a one-year-old phone rocking a trifecta of main ultra-wide and telephoto, while Pixel 6 is the newest Google phone flaunting a dual-camera main and ultra-wide. This is the battle of flagship Samsung S21 versus Pixel 6. We will compare both photos and videos to see what the difference are and who's better. Who will win? Hey! Don't forget to subscribe, my friend. Let's go. Hi, everyone. Good morning. This is JD of Gadget Rev now. Today is a really sunny day, although it's still, we're still in winter. But we can test everything, the flaring. Uh, we can test the morning shot, the night shot for S21 and Pixel 6. So join me today. Let's do this. Hi, everyone. This is JD, your gadget review friend. This is the audio comparison of Samsung S21 versus Pixel 6. Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. This is the audio comparison of Samsung S21 versus Pixel 6. On our first test, the audio is speech enhancement on Pixel 6 is turned off. Again, we're testing everything by default settings. I think S21 has a better noise cancellation, while on Pixel 6, my voice is louder. Both of them sounded great. It's a tie for me. On our next test, we're checking for color profile or saturation. I mean, this will be a really hard comparison. Reminded me of Pixel 6 versus iPhone 13. This will be super close on daylight condition. I mean, both of them will have similar output, but as I shoot these photos, I notice that the reds on Samsung S21 is more saturated than Pixel 6. That's the only major thing I notice in terms of colors. This is a personal preference, so it's a tie for me. There's obviously a little bit of age gap between S21 and Pixel 6. Um, S21 is older. It was released uh, January of this or January of last year. While Pixel 6 is October of last year. So there's also a difference in the sensor size. Uh, Samsung S21 is smaller at 1 over 1.76 while Pixel 6 is larger at 1, point, uh, 1 over 1.31. Next is flaring and if you have a really strong sun, the circular camera module of S21 will have a halo effect on the photos. The sun is always stronger on Samsung S21, but here on this photo, I just noticed that on Pixel 6, it has a better dynamic range. Pixel 6 is the winner here. Next is highlights. I took a shot of our indoor lamp in almost the same look. I also noticed that on Samsung S21, it has a warmer white balance than Pixel 6 in most cases. Here, if you zoom in on the window, you will see more details on Samsung S21. So Samsung S21 is the winner here. Next is portrait mode but without a human subject. How good are both phones cutting a non-human subject? Both are really good actually. Pixel 6 probably has a little bit of edge on this. It also has a great background blur, sometimes too good to be true. The bigger sensor definitely gives a more natural depth of field to some of the close-up photos. Pixel 6 is the winner here. So for the issues and controversies, for Samsung S21, they actually released two versions of this phone. One is Exynos 2100 and the other one is Snapdragon 888. They say that the performance aren't the same. For Google Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro, early 2022, they have issues with their Tensor chip and how the phone performs. There's so many bugs and issues with the phone and Google has to release uh, the fi a fix, a bug fix on their January update. Next is tech sharpness. It's not all rainbows for bigger sensor because it also introduces fringing. So somehow, if you zoom in on the text, you will notice that S21 is bitingly sharp while Pixel 6 is a little bit soft. It's not soft, it's fringing, but still, S21 is the winner here. Next, we want to check who provides more details and both of them are so detailed. Again, as I scroll through these photos, I only notice a difference in white balance. Still warmer on S21. It's a tie for me. Next, we want to check who manages the noise better, and on this photo, you will see that S21 is smoother, but loses a little bit on details. This is a personal preference. Do you like a smoother photo but losing on some details, or a more detailed but noisier photo? It's a tie for me. Next is greenery and sky, the nature colors. Pixel 6 is true to life, and Samsung S21 is more saturated. Again, tendencies. Warmer and saturated photos on Samsung S21 and true to life and better background blur on Pixel 6. 
Boat looks really good. It's a tie for me. If you're enjoying this video and you watch us for the first time, don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter at GadgetRevNow. Some of the regular things we do in our channel, we do comparison videos, reviews of both old and new phones, and the how-tos, uh, the tips and tricks. Next is portrait shots and both phones produces really good portrait photos. The biggest difference on Pixel 6 is, before they tend to have a sharper looking portrait, and now they put a little noise reduction on it or the smoothening of the skin. The skin tone on Pixel 6 is a little reddish, while Samsung S21 is a typical Samsung camera app with beautification, it smoothens the face but loses a little bit on details too. I like the rear portrait on Pixel 6, but Samsung 21 on selfie camera. The selfie camera on Pixel 6 isn't that good, it's decent but not as good as the rear. It's a tie for me. Next is Night Shot and if you think that Pixel 6 will dominate this category, yes and no. Yes, the colors are great because of the HDR. Typical Samsung fashion, it will brighten the photo, but losing some contrast too. Good thing about the Samsung S21 is, it manages the highlights really well as you can see on the light. A little blown out on Pixel 6, as well as the window, you will still see a little bit on Samsung S21. And the good thing about Pixel 6 is, it cleans up the noise really well, and I guess sacrificing a little bit of details for darker contrast. As a result, the Pixel 6 night shot images are cleaner and more colorful. Pixel 6 is the winner here. And lastly, versatility. Both phones has regular wide and ultra wide lens, but only Samsung S21 has a dedicated telephoto lens. Pixel 6, because of the bigger 50 megapixel, can crop two times, but the 64 megapixel telephoto of S21 will give you a more natural looking and detailed zoom shots. Samsung S21 is the winner here. If you own Samsung S21 or Pixel 6, or any phones you see on our channel, we're making more videos of these phones in the future. Please hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this. Samsung S21 versus Pixel 6 video test. We're checking the video stabilization and we're walking. And now we're running. Both phones are handheld, we're walking again. And now we're running. We're also checking the autofocus. And the light variation. Checking the selfie video recording of S21 and Pixel 6. This is harsh light. And this is against the light. We're also checking the sky and the trees and look at the background separation we're also checking the video stabilization we're switching to the rear camera or the vlogging test because normally the rear camera has a better video recording capability so this is against the light and this is the harsh light look at the sky and the trees, I have uh, a colorful background here. Look at the subject separation. And we're also testing the video stabilization. Samsung S21 versus Pixel 5 uh, in low light selfie video recording test. This is early morning and this is how it looks like. Which is better? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. Samsung S21 5G versus Pixel 5 in low light condition. Look at the sky, the flaring, look at the sharpness as well. And how about the noise? And we're also checking the extreme dark condition. Pixel 5 has a bigger sensor than Samsung S21. As you can see, it's see more in the dark.
So on video test, it's the same on video stabilization, autofocus, and light variation. I like the self-recording of Samsung S21, more so in low light, but I like the colors and subject separation of Pixel 6 in rear camera. In low light condition, the bigger sensor of Pixel 6 will see more. Pixel 6 won 2 out of 3, so Pixel 6 is the winner here. So what is Gadget Rev now's verdict? These two phones are so good, even with 9 months age gap. On Samsung S21, the reds are more saturated, the white balance is warmer, manages the highlights better, the texts are sharper, manages the noise better, more versatile because of the telephoto lens, and better selfie camera on both images and videos. While Pixel 6 is better in managing flaring, better dynamic range, better portrait mode, colors are true to life, and better low light capability on images and videos. These two phones are top of the line. I'm siding a little bit on Pixel 6. I know Google is banking on software technology, so a lot of weaknesses will be tweaked easily. It also has a better hardware, a bigger sensor that will help Pixel 6 on future imaging. But Samsung S21 is as good as Pixel 6, even better on most cases. And not just the camera, Samsung S21 is bug-free and sports an insane Snapdragon 888. Still, I think Pixel 6 is future-proof than S21. And I'll continue to compare these two phones in our channel, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.